This is an open letter video to Jason slash V1I. As the perpetrator of a sex crime, something as big as this, while still being, in many people's eyes, an idol, despite what's happened, you're still powerful in the respect that people still look up to you, but they shouldn't because of what you've done. A little side note thingy here, if you guys don't know what's going on with the whole Jason V1I thing, then I'll put a link below to the master post and that explains almost everything you need to know about the whole Jason thing. Making this video is really difficult because I've been a fan of yours for such a long time. When this whole thing came out, I like with the whole Alex Day thing, I was a little bit wary and then somewhere along the way I just thought, no, and I unsubscribed and I unfollowed you on Twitter. I kept on checking again to see if you're tweeting and stuff and to see if you're okay. It sounds really weird, the same with Alex Day, I wanted to know how you were. Because you're so Twitter famous and YouTube famous, I guess. People will always look at your stuff. You have such a big following on Twitter and on YouTube. Please, please, please don't manipulate them. Please don't manipulate the fans who are still sticking by you or the sort of neutrals who are coming to see your videos to see what you have to say. It sucks that you're feeling so down, but remember, you have ruined lives. Don't bring all the attention to you. The tattoo you got, like, yeah, that's, it's nice, it's a nice tattoo. Why? Did you really need to make a video just to say, look, you know, I'm, I'm feeling down, feeling a bit suicidal? Yeah, that, that was literally the video, basically. What is the point in that? If, if you're gonna tell anyone about it, like, tell close friends. Don't tell an audience that you completely just alienated because of your previous acts. Like, tell a few private friends if you still have any. Please don't, like, tell your audience and tell your thousands and thousands of Twitter followers, making them feel guilty for you because of your previous acts. Yet your previous acts were manipulative and rapey, obviously, and just wrong. The fact that you and Sam Pepper are still tweeting bugs me a little bit. Okay, at least you've apologised, you've acknowledged what's going on. Sam Pepper has acknowledged what's going on, but he's just sort of kept on tweeting and saying it's Friday and it's like, oh my god. If you're going through mental health issues and self-harm issues, then please get help. I'm not saying that because I want you to keep on making videos and I want you to sort of get through this. I'm saying this because self-harm is such a horrible thing to deal with. And whilst telling people that you're doing it, it is effectively almost triggering your fans. Your fans are so young. From my knowledge, the majority of your fans are aged from, say, 13 to 17. That is a very, very vulnerable age group. People idolised over you, yet you've ruined their trust. So trying to crawl back into their lives by making them feel guilty is an awful thing to do. Okay, I understand that you're going through a terrible time, but don't make us feel guilty. Like it's our fault. It's your fault for doing the what you did. I do hope you get help though, because you deserve to have a life. Yes, you're born in a Mormon family and you're brought up that way. But that's not an excuse, is it really? That's not an excuse at all. I'll end it here by saying the best thing you can do is to step away from the camera, step away from the laptop, the phone, whatever you use to write your tweets and stuff. Making an appearance is gonna hurt your fans or ex-fans or whatever. As someone who's watched your videos for about two or three years, a YouTube without you is horrible. We as a YouTube community have to deal with change. I'll end this video by saying keep calm and stay strong like I always do. Please don't blackmail your fans, please don't manipulate their trust and don't make them feel guilty for your actions. That's a horrible thing to do. Please get help about the whole depression and whole self-harm thing as someone who's gone through it myself and have experienced my friends going through it. It's a horrible thing to deal with. So please seek help in that respect. Thank you very, very much for watching guys and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.